New York remains the number one terror target in the world. We want to make sure that we're on the cutting edge of preparedness to respond to those threats. Coming through. 3M sponge sticks or 3x3 sterile gauze. That's a backup. Yeah, that's backup. Yeah. So you've got your box ready to go. Three of us will set up. Try to get right here as quickly as we can. This is an opportunity for us as the health department to test our environmental sampling plan as well as some of the protocols we developed around sampling for a biological threat agent release. And we got to label it? Okay. That's good. We work very closely with our partner agencies around creating a citywide biological emergency plan. Participating agencies include NYPD, FDNY, Department of Environmental Protection, MTA Police, FBI, Port Authority Police, and New York City Transit Hazmat. After a biological incident, New York City will send teams out to the field to collect environmental samples. The information we learn from these samples is critical. It will help us understand the scale and scope of the incident. We've been planning for this exercise for the past three years. We're looking to get feedback from all of the uh, emergency response agencies and we'll implement whatever recommendations they give us. We need to be prepared for the, the very real threat of bioterrorism. Should an emergency happen, it's so critical that government is able to step in to protect the public. Do we have the, uh, the decon solution? All right, let's go. We've been receiving federal preparedness funds for over a decade, and they've been essential in what we've been able to do. Hire staff, purchase equipment, uh, plan exercises like the one you saw today. Without continued funding, the most densely populated city in the country would be at great risk and have great exposure to biological threats. The public expects that government will be ready to perform a critical role in a response. In order for us to be able to deliver on that role, we have to have the funding to build the capabilities to be ready. We understand that lives are on the line. These are our friends, our family, our neighbors, our community and it's essential that we be prepared so that we can protect them. Over the past decade, we've built tremendous capability to respond successfully to disease outbreaks, hurricanes, terrorism. New York City continues to be at great risk for a terrorist attack, making federal support to emergency preparedness indispensable. Now is not the time to take our foot off the gas. We must continue to invest in federal emergency preparedness funding.